Hey everybody, I'm Abuja Kayla Xavier, as I said, if I the anti diva what's playing in the Ravenous Witch. Um, I will tell you what's- I'll go ahead and tell you what happened to why this series is starting over. Of course, if you guys saw that update video that I posted for this, you probably already know what happened. Something went wrong, I don't know what exactly happened, but I think it's time that I need to, you know, have that- okay. So yeah, something went wrong. You probably already know what I mentioned, so I won't mention it again, or if I were to mention it, it would just be brief. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, start on this. Oh, and yes, new skin, this may is, uh... New skin, that's, that's the ravenous, that's what I call she kind of looks like a Ravenous Witch. Okay, welcome to, um, yes, I'm still re I'm reading the songs, signs like last time. Since this is kind of me acting like I, pl I've, like, I'm playing this for the first time, even though I already done that. But, also at the same time, um, just looking up there for no particular reason. But yeah, but now I pretty much have an idea of, like, what I really am going for too. I mean, one thing that I will do is at least put something in the monument. That will be like the first thing that, uh, one of the first things that I'll do in like the next set or so. I don't know. Before I head to wherever I want to, where I was actually heading towards so I can continue progress from there. So, welcome to Super Hostile 1, Sea of Flame 2 by Vex. Um, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, my original first three maps were pure survival with no goal or anything. Like all other maps, uh, like other- uh, Like all other survival maps, you just kind of derped around. And it wasn't until my, fir my fourth map, Kaizo Caverns, that I added the Victory Monument system. I went back and added the wool and the Victory Monument and the VMs of the first three maps, but it was not the best thing really. They were not quite designed for that kind of gameplay, so I'm remaking into a proper CTM slash complete the monument. I hope you enjoy them. Smiley face. <laughs> okay, that's that's adorable. Um, since I'm behind it, I'll just read it from there. Uh, this is a remake of the old Sea of Flames. If you want to play the old version, you can find it in the forums at the bottom of the Sea of Flames section. I'd rather not. This is a lot nicer. But thanks for the offer. This is an open an open world... <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. This is an open world style map. As you explore, you will find areas and dungeons. Good luck and try not to fall in the lava. Your first goal should be to secure renewable wood and also find the Victory Monument. It may it may be convenient to set up your base at the, at the Victory Monument. <laughs> Which I assure you, that's best for business. Um, okay, rules. Find wool and complete the victory monument. Find wool and chests. Do not use sheep or dyes. Use at least easy and difficult and never peaceful. So about the middle rule. Yes, that's, that's, that's definitely a thing that will not be happening here. Because, of course, I can see that's considered cheating. Seriously, why? Uh, do not leave the boundaries of the map. Survive in any way you can think of. You craft the metal blocks for the monument. Which I think that's pretty good. Uh, to give to give SMP players a break from spawning in the lava, respawn point is in the middle of the classic island, but everyone uses beds now, so it's really not a moot point. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I still don't know what SMP even means. Somebody explain this to me. Um, and I honestly have no idea how I managed to. Uh, it's how I mentioned to say at least three or four signs of to read them without even without a breath. Okay, is Estonian battle sign level one? Wait, why can't I break anything? Oh, 
Alright, hold on guys. I think something's wrong here. Let me go check.